Thanks for taking the time to tune in. Just a note that if you're ever interested in private one-on-one -on -one tutoring, I offer Google Meet as well as Zoom classes. If you're interested, you can contact me at this email address and I'd be happy to set something up for you. You'd also maybe want to pause the video at this point, just reread the problem to get reacquainted with it. We're trying to figure out how far the runners are, are from this flagpole when they meet together. So we've drawn a picture to depict the scenario. We have drawn a Y and X axis, and you'll notice at the origin of the axis, we've placed a flag. And then what we've done is we've labeled two different people. We've got person A and then person B. Now notice person A was said to be initially four meters west of the flagpole. So since the flagpole is at the origin, then the initial X coordinate of the person would be at negative four because we've drawn that person on the left side of the origin. So that's the negative X axis. So just be careful that you understand that their initial position is negative four. In addition, that person is moving with a constant velocity of six meter, excuse me, six miles per hour due east. Now, because the velocity is due east, that runner is traveling to the right, and we arbitrarily assign a positive direction to the rightward direction. So in other words, their initial velocity is positive six meters per second. Now look at person B. She is located initially three meters east of the flagpole. So if you go to the right of the flagpole or east of the flagpole, that's a positive X coordinate. So her initial X coordinate is positive three. And she is running with a constant velocity of five miles per hour due west. West would be to the left and therefore her velocity is negative. So just be very careful about those signs for positions and velocities. Now, we know that the runners are meeting. That's what the question indicates. And we're going to be taking advantage of the following equation. This is an equation you probably have learned in this chapter. What we want to do is actually expand delta x. Delta x just means the runner's final position minus her initial position. So we're just going to expand that term accordingly. Now, we are also told that the runners are traveling with constant velocity. So ask yourself, what does it mean in terms of acceleration when the velocity is constant? Well, a constant velocity, of course, means the acceleration is equal to zero. So this term right here, when we multiply one half by zero by t squared, all of that is going to go to zero. So we can actually eliminate it from the equation, which is going to simplify it a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is just add the initial position over to the right hand side and we'll see why that's useful in just a moment so we'll cancel it out on the left hand side so here we have an equation for the final x coordinate of each runner now what we'll do is we'll plug in the data remember the values for the runner labeled a are known as well as the values for the runner labeled b so let's go ahead and plug in the values we assigned for runners a and b there we have the values plugged in. Now you'll notice that we, for the times, we haven't filled anything in yet, but think about what the time would be. We know the runners are meeting together. So however long runner A travels will be the same amount of time that runner B travels. In other words, these times are going to be equal to each other. So we don't have to say, for example, time with a subscript A and time with a subscript B. We're just gonna use the general label time because it's the same for both runners. In addition, because they're meeting, their final x coordinates are also going to be equal. They're joining together, they're kind of passing each other, and at that moment that they pass each other, they're at the same location on the x axis. So, what we do is we take the expression for x final of runner A and the expression for x final of runner B, and we set them equal to each other. They are equal in value, so let's go ahead and equate them. And now it's just a matter of solving for an unknown here. We're going to solve for the amount of time that each traveler was running for. So this is just a little bit of algebra. Why don't we go ahead and add the 5t to both sides? And that way it cancels out on the right-hand side. And simultaneously, I suppose, we could add 4 to both sides. So that cancels out on the left-hand side. So now we have 11t is equal to 7. And then, of course, we just divide both sides by 11. And when we do that, we're going to get about 0.636 for the time. So that is how long it takes the runners to finally meet up with one another. But that's not what the question asked. It asked, how far are they from the flagpole? So we actually need their final X coordinate. So what's happening is runner A is going to run this far and runner B is going to run that far and they're going to kind of join together. We need to know how far from the flagpole they are. So in other words, we need to know that final X coordinate. Well, we can find that because we have 
two equations for final x coordinate. We have this equation as well as this equation. Either one will work. You might want to use both just to prove that to yourself, but let's arbitrarily select the first one, the negative 4 plus 6t. So the final x coordinate is going to be negative 4 plus 6t, but we know t. It's the 0 0.636. We plug this into our calculator, and we're going to get a final x coordinate of approximately negative 0.18 meters. I think they were running in meters per second, but let me just double check that. Uh, actually, it's miles, so I was wrong. So that's an easy fix. But there is the final answer. Now, the way your homework system might want you to answer it is as follows. Remember, the flagpole was at the origin. So here is our little flagpole. We know that this is a negative x coordinate, so our answer as to where they meet is on the left side of the flagpole. So there it is. Final x coordinate is negative 0.18. So you can probably frame your answer as follows. You can say it's 0.18 miles west of the flagpole. That is where the runners are eventually going to meet.